welcome y'all welcome back to my channel what's going on oh jeez hello newly subscribers what's up what is up what is up baby you said what's well how the energy looking mystical jalerical who does it spiritually how's the energy looking for us today you say let me sing let me sing let me sing oh we the energy want to fall out three cards at once they want to pop out two cards at once okay then they want to flip out two cards at once hold on one second We have the garden and the gate that came out in reverse. The number 30. Somebody left life path. Number can be three. Birthday can be January, February, March the third. All right. The, the overall energy is abundant, prosperity, staying safe. But it came out in reverse. And if this card is reversed, it indicates the happy choice to open the door to a more spiritual pursuit. Oh, wow. It indicates the happy choice to open the door to a more spiritual pursuit. You may have been obsessed with worldly issues before. But your readiness to go deeper is now here. So many people believe that they cannot live in a material world. Makes, make a lot of money and engage in spiritual priorities at the same time. Most people believe that they cannot live in a material world. Okay, make a lot of money and engage your spiritual priorities at the same time. I don't know why, because it is possible. You think it's going to be too much work? Well, balance it out. You got it. You have the mindset. Don't you want it? How bad do you want it? I need you to start believing. Okay. But you now realize that this isn't true. In fact, you can bring this wonderful spiritual focus to any, and I mean any, endeavors. So, when you do, you'll find that beyond your garden, the universe is willing to fill your life with beauty and joy. Okay? Expect the unexpected for joyous synchronicity abounds. Okay? The affirmation is, I am blessed with an abundantly oh oh i am blessed with an abund, abundantly spiritual life every day in every way my joy is prosperity grows and grows that is beautiful you guys are upgrading okay like y'all putting that spiritual work in everything that you do everything that you do your love life let's see you you applying it you know it bringing you so much joy and happiness and everything you desire everything your heart desire all right within your love life you putting that into healing imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed this very moment you are a healer you are a healer with even in the material world 
okay? You make a lot of money providing healing service, okay? With, with gaining, with engaging in spiritual priorities at the same damn time. At the same damn time. Making a lot of money at the same damn time. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. What about what, how how we putting this healing into our romantic love life? Okay, what's going on? Oh geez, what's up? We done upgraded. We done upgraded to OG status. Yes. Let's see what you applying this healing into your romantic love life. Where is it going? It said codependency. You healing codependency. You healing addictions that are affecting your romantic love life. From past life with past life relationships. You are healing. You are healing and still applying the spiritual priorities that benefits that within the material world. Okay, you have known each other before. Two cards decided to come out, so clarify this past life relationship. Oh, my, my, my. Oh, my, my, my. So this past life relationship is someone you are calling. You are calling in your soulmate. You healing. Your prayers, affirmation, and visualization help bring you together. It helped bring this honeymoon together, enjoying the bliss of holiday times together. All because you are healing from codependencies, addictions, praying, being positive within the mind, doing spiritual healing, meditating, and giving the service within the material world. Okay? Don't matter how you look. As long as you feel good about yourself. You deliver everything you deliver in touch would be good, okay? Let's let's get some characters behind here. This overall energy. The garden and the gate. The garden and the gate. So yes, I'm so proud of you guys. And y'all helping other people, okay? What is this garden and the gate? The Knight of Swords in reverse. Usually, usually when it's upright, it means that someone is coming in, rushing in. But I feel like you are pasting yourself. Okay, you taking time to work with yourself, to work with others. Okay, trying to heal this codependency. You trying to find a cure. What is the problem? You are the solution. You are the answer, and you know, you knowing that. What is this healing? What is this healing? Ooh, I sent the emperor, y'all. The healing. This card was already turned over. It's the tower. The healing is, the cure is to heal. In something, to begin something. Oh, wow. And what you are beginning is the end of codependency. Into past life relationship as you begin to call in your soulmate. Mm hmm. Juicy. So, yeah, here go another card. Oh, two more cards. We're going to take this for advice. You got the world and the queen of the queen of wands. This came down in reverse. So, this, this probably was your ending to sexual behavior. You know what I'm saying? To begin a healthy sexual behavior. And I feel like this this getting you so far. If that's the case, if this the reason. So if this reading it, okay, resonate with you guys. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell. Until next time, I will be back with another video. Stay up.